Fox, no, but he's literally there's like five big streamers in the world. He's like number two, number three in the world. Uh, pleasure, man. And he's a Jewish kid too. Pleasure. Like, it's not that big of a deal, right? It's not that big of a deal. Is he Jewish? Let me see. I gotta see if he's 100% Jewish. Uh, he is not. Okay, he's not Jewish. Oh, never mind, he is. The Meek story is much funnier if a white person is making him bunny hop around. Why are you doing bunny hops, Meek? Because you got your ass beat in tennis. The nigga that taught him to bunny hop, made the bet, Lost. Lost. And now this is what's gone. I'm so mad at me. There's me that it actually, when I see the narrative of a really good friend of mine like Meek, there's not a gay bone in his body. So like, why do people want to lie about that? Why do people want to change the narrative of a bet he made with me mm -hmm. to try to hurt him? Keep going, count out loud. This is the wrong time to make count it. out loud. 30. Can't, huh? Four, six, seven, nine. This is where I say, you could be friends with Michael Rubin, but in private. Let's see if that white boy will, will, will allow that. Don't be on camera with that nigga no more. I'm, ser I'm sorry to tell you. Don't be okay. You and him could be best friends. Call each other every day. We don't want to see it. No more Oreo hugs. No more cuddling on the plane. None of that. Nothing. If y'all do it and he pulls out a phone, smack it. That boy, anytime he pulls out a camera, it embarrasses, emasculates, and makes y'all look like coons. Don't do it. Trust me. Why are you doing bunny hops, Meek? Because you got your ass beat in tennis. Good. Oh! Michael Rubin quite possibly might have had one of the craziest four to five years that I've seen in a long while. As we all know, P. Diddy used to be the guy for the parties. When it came to any party in the industry, P. Diddy was the one throwing those parties. But now, when we take that veil off, we know the, what those parties kind of look like. And I'm not going to lie to you, P. Diddy was going crazy. And there were stories about T P. Diddy's party for a long time and nobody wanted to hear it or listen. But now the new sheriff in town is Michael Rubin. And Michael Rubin kind of came into the picture with Meek Mill when he got Meek Mill out of prison for basically going in there for his probation violation. And he was basically just popping a wheelie. And Meek Mill was like, I'm, that's all I did. And he went to prison. And then once he went to prison, Michael Rubin was one of the key factors of taking him out of prison. And once he was able to take him out, him and Meek Mill have now started um, the Reform Act. And basically did a lot of good things. You know what I mean? I can't even hate on that part. But they did a lot of great things when it came to taking him um, basically helping people that are not supposed to be in jail and get them out of jail. So that's kind of what they were working on. So nonetheless, I don't know when all the other freaky stuff started with Michael Rubin. I don't know when the Oreo hugs. I don't know when the bunny hops. I don't know when it is. And Academics basically has a point. When he said, stop with the cameras. The cameras is the thing that's kind of ruining the situation because all of this could have been happening behind the scenes. But when we, when we have to see all of this, that's when it becomes an actual problem. And when you see a video with Aiden Ross at the Fanatics Fest, and you see him lean in and say he is Jewish. Like, Robert Kraft was not listening to a thing that, um, that he was saying until he said he's Jewish, by the way. And that's when Robert Kraft thought he's seen his son. Like it was crazy. Like he said, oh, oh, wow. Like it was. It was like he's never seen a young Jewish successful kid in his life. Like, like, come on. Come on. But at this point, we don't really know what to say about Michael Rubin. All we can say is whenever I see any of those parties, everybody wearing white, it just gives me vibes that. Honestly, I wouldn't even want to be around, but nonetheless, I could be wrong and they could be a vibe and there's nothing crazy happening. What do you guys think in the comment section down below? Um, is the whole Michael Rubin thing getting kind of suspicious or is it just a part of another fad in the industry? 
Let me know what you think. Comment down below. I'm out.